Hey guys, it's uh, Patrick Ryan with Brand Name Real Estate. Just gonna give you a quick market update on the Charleston market. So as of today, there's 2,379 active listings, homes for sale. What does that mean? Because most people hear those numbers and it means absolutely nothing. And it probably shouldn't if you don't know. So basically what that means is that if no new homes were listed, with the amount of inventory that we have, the amount of homes that are for sale and buyers are actively looking on the market, we have 1.1 months of inventory, meaning if no homes, no new homes other than today were added onto the market, in 1.1 months, there would be no more homes for people to buy. We would sell all of them. Now, what does this really mean? Well, that number is up 50% from April. So there's 50% more homes available on the market today than there were two plus months ago. So if you're a seller, you know, basically what that means for you is, you know, there's still a short supply, right? Because healthy market would be six months, right? No new homes could be added and people would be able to buy homes for six months before all the homes on the market would be exhausted. So it's still in the seller's favor. Now, also, how does this work for buyers? Pretty much what that means is, you have 50% more options than you did two to three months ago. So what that means is you're gonna have, you know, less competing offers that you're fighting with. Um, you're probably, you know, your expectation was that you're gonna have to bid twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 over asking. Um, the expectation might be that you should be able to come in at asking and you have a better shot now than you did two to three months ago of, of doing that. So, you know, if you're selling a house, you know, you're just going to have less people coming in, um, overbidding um, at the extent in which they were like, you know, two to three months ago. Um, also, in the last 72 hours, there's 160 homes that are either pending or active contingent, basically. In the last three days, you know, Monday till, till right now, there's 160 homes that did go under contract. So the market is still, it's still moving. It's still incredibly hot. It still is, you know... It's great if you're selling a home because you're still able to get top dollar for your house. And if you're buying, you know, hesitation some people might have would be, you know, the interest rates are at like 6%. That seems high compared to historic lows. Yes. Um, compared to like overall mortgage rates, not so much. Now, what you could do when you're buying a house is you could wait. You could wait six months, a year. And, you know, because they're saying, you know, potentially they might lower the rates again to try to combat the, um, you know, basically the issues that we're facing with inflation and everything else. Um, does that mean that the house that instead of you paying, you know, 20, 30,000 over asking for that home, maybe you can get that same home for, you know, for asking 20, 30,000 less, but you might be paying a higher interest rate. The trade off to that is you can wait, rates can go down that inventory, right? Because there's going to be more able-bodied buyers on the market. Um, as a result, inventory will drop. There will be more competition. You will be paying twenty dollars to $30,000 more for that same house um, to get the, the lower rate. So everybody's situation is different. It's just something to consider, um, you know, what's going to be best for you and your family. So as of right now, 2,379 active listings. It's up 50%. There's 50% um, more homes. There's, there's 50% more, more competition. If you're selling your house, you have 50% more homes that you're competing with, um, to try to draw in buyers. Um, and if you're a buyer, uh, it's a good thing because you have more options and you have a much better chance of getting your offer accepted. Um, hope everybody has a great week and, uh, any questions don't hesitate to reach out.